Acid mine drainage can be explained pretty simply as a chemical reaction. In many of the places where they've mined coal, what is left over once they've removed it is pyrite. So whenever pyrite comes into contact with water, it's like a water bottle that you hold under a faucet and you don't turn off. And when it bursts out of that abandoned mine, it comes into contact with oxygen and it creates acid mine drainage. It's a chemical reaction that is usually very acidic. I've seen acid mine drainage affected streams that the same acidity as battery acid. We as humans need healthy places to live and if you have a waterway that is just devoid of life, those are not going to be the same places that you choose to live. When you look at development in the Appalachian region, the money flows where there is clean water flowing. Our region can no longer afford to let our residents and let our communities shoulder the cost of acid mine drainage. We can never stop acid mine drainage from happening. We simply have to treat it before it becomes a larger problem. What we do to address acid mine drainage is we can build either passive systems where the water passively flows in, is treated, we collect the iron, and then healthy water exits the site and goes into a stream. Or in some of the worst sites, we need to build active systems. We have to ensure that the funding is there so that these projects can exist in perpetuity. What we need to do is to apply the best science, build the best projects, and ensure that they last far into the future. We can't turn off the projects that we've already built. We can't allow the streams and the rivers to revert back to the polluted nature that they once were. The one thing that I try to remember about acid mine drainage is it is no one's fault and it is everyone's responsibility because we all benefited, we all continue to benefit from the energy that this source helped create. Now we have to take a good hard look at the communities and at the people that helped shoulder those individual costs. It is time for us to demand. We're tired of having dead streams. We're tired of having backyards where our kids can't safely play in. So it's on us to make sure that we have enough funding and that this funding lasts far into the future so that our clean water can last far into the future.